The cast of Outer Banks might seem like new faces since many of them became well known with the show, but the crazy fact is that you might have seen them in popular TV shows and movies and you probably missed them. Drew Starkey played his role as Rafe in Outer Banks a little too well that many people aren't aware that he also featured as a villain in another production around the same time he was busy filming Outer Banks. The actor was featured in the horror film Hellraiser, released in 2022, where he portrayed Trevor. Drew's character in this film is a petty thief criminal and a former addict working for Ronald Vought by helping him find victims for his sacrifice. While on this mission, Trevor fell in love with another person with an addiction, Riley, in a rehab center where he decided he was going to take her as the next victim of his boss. While Drew's actions in this film might be different from the role he played in Outer Banks, Trevor had some crazy similarities with Rafe as he was manipulative, deceptive, and a thief as he also stole from the Pogues in the show. It also shows Drew is brilliant in bringing his A-game to antagonizing roles. The actor continued to get busy, even though he was neck deep in his role as Rafe on the set of Outer Banks, as he took on another job for the movie The Other Zoe as Zack, the school's soccer star. Although he isn't a villain in this film, he indirectly causes confusion after developing amnesia and mistaking Zoe for his girlfriend, who answers by the same name. Zoe, who's computer smart and has always disliked romantic love, finds herself in a crazy twist after encountering Drew's character in the movie. Then, Zoe becomes drawn to Zack's cousin, Miles, while trying to keep up with the false display of being Zack's girlfriend. Many people are so obsessed with Drew's performance because he got to act with Josephine Langford from the After Film series, so having Rafe from Outer Banks and Tessa from After in a romantic comedy is a fascinating experience for fans who have seen both. Drew also stars in an emotional short film, Extended Stay, in which he played Ricky, who was with his girlfriend during the lockdown while also dealing with a sexuality crisis. The short movie is an excellent example of how Drew can act in emotional and vulnerable roles despite being known for tough ones. For Chase Stokes, life was a little tough before landing his famous role in Outer Banks where he plays John B. Before his breakout performance, he could no longer afford his rent and was living in his car for about two months while using strategies to make sure he wasn't caught. The actor said, you don't wanna park in a corner. Then all of a sudden, the parking attendant is like, that dude is for sure sleeping in here, so I would try to find a different parking spot every day and it worked out. But then his situation didn't improve as he moved from that to getting minor jobs. He was a bartender, later promoted to social media manager, but was fired for lying about his photography skills. When his agent eventually told him about the role of John B, he turned it down but changed his mind to read for Topper before eventually landing the initial part, which has now changed everything for him. The crazy thing is that Chase has been involved in big projects in the past, but in a very minimal capacity. As you would be surprised to find out, he was featured in Stranger Things. His appearance in the popular show was so short that it could be easily missed. Actually, my first job was this little show called Stranger Things. Hey, Nance. Can't wait to see your movie but it gets even crazier because he almost got the chance to portray the role of Steve Harrington, which he completely messed up after forgetting the lines. So I actually read for Steve Harrington um, and uh, I forgot all the lines and absolutely effed up the audition. Uh, and I drove eight hours from Atlanta back to Orlando, regretting every moment of my life on that. Eventually, the Duffer brothers wrote him into the show, which made up for his cameo appearance in A Car Passing By. Chase also appeared in One of Us is Lying as a minor character who barely had screen time, but the insane part is that he was initially cast as the lead character, TJ, before he was dropped due to scheduling conflicts. The filming of OBX2 fell around the same time One of Us is Lying was in production, and Chase had to choose between the two, which was an unfortunate situation for the actor and the fans who wanted to see more of him in another production. The actor looked utterly different in another project as Martin in Doctor, Bird's Advice for Sad Poets, where he sported long hair and a mustache. In the movie, Chase acted as the boyfriend who found it hard to let go of his girlfriend, with whom the main 
main character was also in love with. This and many more encounters in the film led the main characters into a fascinating journey. However, since Chase had financial challenges before breaking out in OBX, he has continued to get even more recognition, and his new film project, Uglies, which he acted alongside Joey King, has set him further in his acting career and financial freedom. Another cast from OBX featured in Stranger Things is Madeline Klein, which is surprising considering the romantic history Madeline and Chase on and off the screen. Like Chase, many fans could have also missed Madeline in this popular series because she wasn't a household name when she appeared in the show. Madeline played Tina in the second season of Stranger Things as one of the popular girls who were friends with Steve Harrington, which would have been mind-blowing had Chase gotten the role of Steve. Interestingly, Madeline was also featured in Glass Onion, a sequel to Knives Out, where she played Whiskey, an influencer and party-loving girlfriend of Duke Cody. In the film, Madeline is the assistant manager of their Twitch account, trying to leverage the platform to become famous on the internet. Then she also got into a special relationship with the billionaire in the center of the story, Miles Braun, in an intriguing tale with a fantastic twist, with Madeline showing her versatility to fit any challenging role. Madeline also appeared in season four of the original as Jessica, who's a witch and was selected randomly by Elijah to be one of the new Harvest Girls for the ritual needed for him to reach the ancestors. However, since Outer Banks, Madeline has continued to get into fantastic film projects, and her most recent one is The Map That Leads to You, which is still in production and expected to be groundbreaking. The movie features Heather, who Madeline plays, as she goes on a European adventure with friends from college, where she meets Jack, who brings many exciting changes into her life. Although this film's release date hasn't been announced, Madeline is acting alongside KJ Appa, who portrayed Archie in Riverdale. This crossover is an exciting one that many fans can't wait to see. Despite the Outer Banks cast having an absolute blast in their careers, they've also had some controversial challenges on set, which has led fans to believe that could be why another rumor has sufficed. So, an unconfirmed report about Rudy Pankow leaving OBX after season four has been circulating, with people blaming this recent development on his girlfriend Elaine again, and there are panics that this could lead to the end of the excellent show or or the elimination of his character, JJ, however, before OBX, Rudy was featured in some other projects in the past, and while working on the set of the early seasons of OBX, Rudy played Joey Kite in Space Waves, where he has a somewhat similar role to what he has on OBX. In Space Waves, Rudy's character is a fun guy who loves messing around in his small town with his friend Marvin. While at it, he became motivated to pursue journalism in the future, while also looking deep into pushing their podcast Podcast, space waves to the top of iTunes charts. Another movie where you might have seen Rudy before is The Crusades, a 2023 production shot around the same time OBX4 was filmed. Rudy played a leading role in this film as Leo Greco, a lovable character but an unrealistic daydreamer focused more on things he might never get. In this film, Rudy shows off his talents in his acting skills, learning Italian, and speaking it in the movie. Rudy also appeared in a recent production, Five Pounds of Pre Pressure, which coincides with the making of OBX4, where he plays Jimmy. In this film, Rudy's character is the son of an ex-convict who was released to the displeasure of his ex-wife and the family of the person he executed. So, all the father wanted was to live in peace and meet his son, Jimmy, but things ended up not going as planned, and Rudy was able to bring out the emotions in this situation, similar to his depressing encounter with his absent and troublemaker father in OBX. Madison Bailey is another leading cast from OBX whose breakout came from the production, but she has been involved in several other projects. The actress was in American Horror Stories in 2021 as Kelly, a young woman who had to deal with real-life horror. In her one-episode appearance in the show, Madison's character had a boyfriend, Chad, who was pressuring her to make their relationship more intimate after dating for six months while they were making out, which she wasn't comfortable with. Kelly 
Kelly's story eventually leads the viewers to a series of horrific moments and scenes that are insane. In 2018, Madison also starred in Black Lightning, where she portrayed Wendy, a meta-human with unique abilities to generate and control air. She was one of the children who was kidnapped by ASA and put in a pod to be monitored. While in the pod, both of her parents passed away, then she found a way to escape, and a series of mind-blowing events followed right after. The actress turned towards a dark role in her performance as Carla in Creepshow, released in 2019. In the episode where she appeared, her character, Carla, showcases greediness and a sense of torture, which reveals that she was in the position of an assailant rather than a victim, which brings an exciting twist to her character. It also shows a further range from her role in Outer Banks. Although widely known for his performance as Pope in OBX, fans can't get over Jonathan Davis's brief appearance in the 2022 movie Do Revenge, where his face and style could hardly be missed. Jonathan played Elliot, one of the Rose Hill Country Day School students who wears his tie in a striking way that gets attention. He's also Max Broussard's right hand in the movie, and his little cameo made a significant impact. The actor was also featured in the 2018 movie Age of Summer before OBX, portraying Mathis. In the film, he acted alongside Percy Hines White, who played Minnesota. Mathis, who is older and savvier, became friends with Minnesota, and they had the best summer with their other friends in the film. Before landing his breakout role, Jonathan also appeared in minor projects like Deliverance Creek, Shattered Memories, and Edge of the World. From a sweet boyfriend to a villain to getting betrayed, Topper has experienced all the intense drama between Pogues and Kooks, and the actor who plays the role, Austin North, also also had some fantastic moments in his career before joining OBX. Austin is a former Disney Channel kid who had a significant role in Kicking It in 2011 as Ricky Weaver. His character in the Disney series is a musician with a private jet who gets disturbed and attacked by the paparazzi. Ricky is a TV character famously known as a parody of Justin Bieber. In 2014, Austin was featured in a sitcom titled I Didn't Do It. In the show, he plays one of the leading characters, Logan Watson, who's very reserved alongside Olivia Holt, who portrays his twin sister. When he got into high school, he aimed to become famous, and he also got a girlfriend, Jasmine, as his story transforms from a young boy to an adult who eventually makes critical decisions. Austin was in ANT Farm in 2012 as Holland, and he likes Mutton China even though he's human, so to be with Mutton China, he seeks help to become a monster. However, Holland turns into a stone after looking into China's snakes. The actor was also in a Nickelodeon production, See Dad Run, where he played Dean in 2013. So Austin had quite a fulfilling start in his acting career before his role at Outer Banks. The adventure in Outer Banks became even more scary ever since Carlacia Grant joined the show as Cleo, and the actress has been having a fantastic run so far. But even before OBX, Carlacia was featured in projects like the remake of Roots in 2016, where she made her TV debut as Irene. She appeared in part four of the series and acted alongside Reggae Jean Page, among many others. Carlacia was featured in Greenleaf, where she played Danielle Turner. The actress was also in The Resident, where she portrayed Trinity, where she and her mother had complicated symptoms, which made it difficult for them to be diagnosed.